and welcome back to my channel. So this is something that I have been so, so, so excited to share with you all. Um, this is my first trimester video. So this video is very, <laughs> very real. Um, at the start, um, I'm really, really shocked. Um, if I'm honest, it's something that I haven't really shared with people and I will go into more detail with on another video, but I didn't really think that I would be able to get pregnant very easily. Um, so it wasn't planned. <laughs> um, and at first I am in shock and I think very nervous. Um, I felt like it wasn't gonna happen for me. For some reason I thought I was gonna have a miscarriage and it was gonna be taken away from me. So I didn't want to get too excited. Um, also, I had my wedding planned for this summer, which I know a lot of you know, um, and I just felt like so much guilt for all the people that had booked flights and like, you know, booked hotels and things, um, and so many different things that I just was so stressed about that I could not wait to get to my first scan and then tell me if everything was okay and then I could kind of deal with, um, my wedding and the scenario and um, properly tell my family. Um, so at the start I'm terrified and then throughout the video you'll see that we are super, super excited now. It's so, so real. I'm actually currently in my second trimester so there is so many more videos to come but I really hope you guys enjoy this first video. I feel like today is officially the biggest day of my life yet. Um, so we woke up this morning and um, we asked her to get a pregnancy test on the way to work and I took a pregnancy test and I'm pregnant which is just so surreal. I mean I feel like I've calmed down a little bit now because I've had a chance to kind of soak it in a little bit but it's not fully sunk in yet. Um, but yeah, I've cried out of fear and I've cried out of happiness and this is just so unexpected um yeah i must have got pregnant in dubai and it wasn't planned obviously we've got the wedding and all sorts of stuff coming up so um yeah i don't know how i feel right now it's very strange but like happy little stress but i'm not really sure where i'm at um so these are two positive tests um from one brand so we've got another test from a different brand which also says positive from clear blue too so um yeah this is pretty uh pretty real right now so there was a bit of a drama with the test um the initial test that i took like didn't work within like the first five ten minutes like it's meant to it just nothing was coming up like no lines at all so i thought the test was broken um, and they left it on the side and then one line came up and then like a really faint second line came up and I was like, oh my God, is that real or not? Am I just imagining it? Like, am I being a drama queen? So I like, was looking and I was like tilting it like like this because I could see the line. Um, yeah, and then literally another 10 minutes after that, the line just went really much stronger and then I took another test and now both the tests um, are pretty positive. Hey guys, so uh, today is day three since I found out uh, I was pregnant. It's been a weird couple of days. <laughs> it doesn't quite feel real yet. Um, still very strange that to think that I'm actually pregnant. I don't know, the amount of times that you've taken a pregnancy test and thought like, oh, I've missed my period by one day and you take a pregnancy test. Um, but I think I kind of knew for some reason, I just felt a bit different. I had to tell my family, obviously because we've got a wedding that we're planning and deposits have been paid and stuff like that. So I had to tell them pretty early, which is obviously quite nerve wracking because obviously at this point I'm only five weeks pregnant. So it's like announcing to them, oh, hi, I'm pregnant. <laughs> and there's still a lot of like complications that could happen. So um, yeah, they're really excited, but I just don't want to get my hopes up yet because I do know that there's like lots of things that can go wrong. I put myself a scan for the 12th of January. Uh, I'm nervous about that, obviously. I think I'll be nervous until I have that scan and they say like everything's okay because obviously there's loads of things that can happen like ectopic pregnancy or like so there could be something wrong. So until we have that first initial scan then I try not to get like too excited over it and just kind of take every day as it is. Uh, I've um, jumped online, I've like read like 
millions of plumbing articles until God knows what time in the morning, making sure that I'm doing everything right. And to be fair, panic off. Like I'm, apart from you know, you shouldn't, you shouldn't drink. So I've not drink drank anything since I found out. Um, I think you kind of worry as well that you don't know what to do. Like, oh God, this happened. Like, what are you meant to do? Um, so I've been speaking to my nan a lot because she's just like, you need to just don't worry about it. Obviously, it does change all my plans for next year too with like the wedding and stuff. Um, so we'll see what happens really. I'm just going to like hang fire with everything until I find out what's going on with um, this scan. Start of January. Um, yeah, that's it really. <laughs> what a crazy three days it still just feels so surreal like it's not real i think maybe when i do get that scan as well or if i start getting a bump or something like a couple of months down the line that it will maybe feel a bit more real then but right now it just doesn't feel real i feel like someone's playing a prank on me <laughs> but it's very real crazy Hey guys, so we are on the way to my next scan. I feel so, so nervous. Um, I literally have been waiting for this for like three and a half weeks, so <laughs> I'm so excited that we're finally on the way. MJ, cool as a cucumber. I'm excited about this, cannot wait to see. Um, we've just been saying that I'm like really nervous for some reason just because I think last time because they told me it was too small for where I thought I was I just really hope that it's grown and obviously I feel like it's grown because I've got a bit more of like I'm a bump but not a bump yet but um, the uh, grown. yeah the, be the belly looks a little bit more like bloated <laughs> that's good um, yeah I'm really nervous Oh uh, yeah, so that's the important thing to say. So today, um, we are having a blood test called a Harmony test. Um, basically, it is something that you can pay for privately if that is something that you want to do. Um, and they take my bloods and they send them off to a lab. And from my bloods, they're able to um, separate my DNA from the baby's DNA, supposedly, or something like that. Um, and they can check the chromosomes and they can also tell you your gender. So we had a bit of an argument about this, to be fair. Well, not an argument, but like a heated discussion. Um, because I didn't want to find out until like later on. I want to know now. <laughs> yeah, Mike's so impatient that he needs to know right now. Um, but I wanted to find out like further on, just so I had something more to look forward to. Um, but then he was literally like, well, I'll find out without you. And then I just won't tell you. And I'm like, that doesn't work for me. Like, I need to know if we're booking acting school or we're booking horse riding. It's like, or football. <laughs> yeah, or footballing, you know what I mean? It's it's so funny. Also, it's I great. think as well, because we're like mid doing our apartment, um, I think we need to know a little bit for like the room and then we can start planning. Um, but yeah, I would have liked to have waited a little, little bit longer. Um, two days but Mike won't wait. So I want to find out together, that's the main thing. Like I don't want to, him to find out and then like keep it a secret from me because if I'm looking at him <laughs> and I know that you know and I don't know, then that'll really stress me out. So I'll end up saying like, just tell me what it is. Okay, so why don't we guess? Okay, so we're going to guess. Go on, Michael. What is I your- I had a dream before you got pregnant, before we knew for, for sure, and a yeah. dream. I told you about when we woke up and I was like, I had a dream, you had a boy. And then there was a girl behind, so we're having twins, girl and boy. Okay. Which would be amazing. So I'm going to go for boy. Well, I don't think we're having twins because we, we've obviously had an early scan and yeah, it was I so unclear though. Things. Sometimes I can miss these things, but yeah. I'd love twins. All triplets. 
bring them all at once to be fair. Yeah, okay, that's because it's not in your body, that's why you're saying that. But okay. That's a good point. <laughs> so I'm going for boy. Okay, right to go for a boy. So I really want to have a girl just because like I think it one. would be so cute. Yeah, right down there. Um but I genuinely think I'm having a boy. Like I get a really strong feeling that I'm having a boy. Could be wrong. Would love a girl, but also would love a boy too. Um Same. so I'm gonna be happy either way. But um I've got a feeling I'm having a boy and you've gone the wrong way. I said right here, you said yeah, right here. Yeah, but you should have gone right again there. Gone the wrong way, I need to turn Ah, around. right, okay. Um, <laughs> God, sorry, I'm speaking and Big like not brain. watching. So, last time I made a mistake of not drinking enough water, um, because I didn't know that you had to drink left, left, left. Don't miss this one, God. I didn't know that you had to drink loads of water before you had a scan. Nobody told me, and to be fair, when I booked it, like there was no guidelines on that, so just presumed that. That, that wasn't a thing anyway you need to drink loads of water guys if you're having a scanning you've never had one before um because mine was really unclear and she really struggled to see the baby um because she said i had tight tummy muscles and not enough um fluid in my bladder so this time i've literally drank so much water so hopefully it'll be much clearer um so yeah we've just arrived Ooh, i'm really excited very, very, very nervous. I'm waiting for this day. I know. Very, very, very. Well, I tried to originally book it two weeks after, like she told me to, and then the lady rang me up and said, oh, the doctor would like you to go an extra week. So that three weeks have literally felt like two months, like I'm not even joking. Um, so yeah, we've been waiting for this day. Let's do it. <laughs> so happy then. No, it's okay. And today is more accurate, really, than last time yeah. because it is it, it, you are a little bit. So one of the things that I've really struggled with um, in my first trimester is definitely being a morning sickness. Um, Hi, sorry. Would you mind just reversing back? It seems to be. I've got some balloons in the back, and I can't tell. Oh how, yeah, how yeah, yeah. Is. Right there. Like, <laughs> uh, sorry, someone just came to my window and asked me to reverse. <laughs> she's got balloons in the back of her car and she can't see out the back window, so um, she's not sure how far she's reversing and she doesn't want to hit me. <laughs> I'm currently like filming a video, it's quite, <laughs> it's really awkward. <laughs> anyway one of the things i'm currently finding really difficult is definitely um first of my morning sickness has been horrendous like i don't think it's actually just been morning sickness it's more like all day sickness <laughs> um it also comes at really random times like in the middle of the night or at 4 a.m to just like nastily wake me up <laughs> so i go and be sick or if we like plan to go out to the shops or something something will set me off and i'm like running outside to be sick it's um it's not the best <laughs> Um, and then you obviously get really really tired um i've actually scratched the wheels off my car because i was not driving the best because i was really tired and i went like this and scratched my car wheels which didn't go down very well with mike um but yeah i blamed all the pregnancy <laughs> um so yeah because of the morning sickness i haven't been able to eat like loads of things that i usually would eat i'd normally say i'm pretty healthy as a person um and i kind of have guilt over it actually because i'm having to eat so many carbs and like spaghetti for tea and not like loads of vegetables and like nutritious stuff that i would usually have um and obviously you want to eat all that stuff so that you like eat all the right nutrients for your baby um, but I have been taking my pregnancy um, vitamins and tablets so that I do keep all my nutrients up but I'm really really struggling with the food like I just can't keep things down um, I've actually had some horrible comments on my Instagram people saying that I've got too thin or like did I have a boob job for Christmas and obviously I haven't been able to tell anyone but I'm actually just pregnant <laughs> Um, so I can't wait for the day that I actually get to announce that I am actually pregnant because um, I never quite realised that before but it really got to me because I was like I'm actually not 
I mean, I'm not trying to lose weight, but actually I'm eating like 10 croissants a day and having spaghetti bolognese, bolognese for my tea. Um, so I don't think I've ever been as probably unhealthy as I am now actually, um, just because that's the only bland foods that I can manage to keep down. Um, but yeah, croissants have literally been my life. So I've been fully addicted to croissants. I have a croissant here. <laughs> I um, have probably eaten just these all day long when they're just like not, then they're, they're nice, they're not dry and horrible, but they're just enough. So I've been having them like savory with some like cheese and ham or cheese and chicken in, or if I'm like fancying something sweeter, then I have like a chocolate croissant. Um, the other thing is as well that I'm really, really struggled with is the whole caffeine thing. So I didn't realize this, but when I found out I was pregnant, I was so worried I was doing everything wrong and I didn't know enough that I really like looked into all the things that I needed to be doing. And one of them was people saying about the caffeine, how it can affect the growth of your baby and also how it's, um, can cause like premature birth and all these things now I don't really know how much this is true because a lot of people have different opinions on it especially when I've spoke to a couple of my friends and family members they're like don't worry about it too much but because I want to do it all right um, I've been trying my best so I've weaned myself off caffeine and I mean I probably had about 10 coffees a day and now I'm having like a coffee a day maybe two max a day if I'm really struggling yeah I've been been really quite strict on myself with the caffeine so I hope you guys really enjoyed that video um that has been a whirlwind first trimester for me let me know what other videos you want to see obviously I am a first time mum maybe some of you watching this are or you're really really experienced and you know so many things so I'd love to see what you guys say in the comments um also as promised I will now do a wedding update <laughs> because the secret's out and I know what I'm doing so I'm going to do another post video on um wedding so yeah thanks for watching guys and if you don't already please subscribe and catch you next time